so as the head of the center and the head of my lab, I had to go through each person and deem them either essential or non-essential to try to keep the lab from being crowded as well. Uh, and then within the last few weeks, that got even more strict uh, because the governor of Maryland uh, made it mandatory that people stay at home unless absolutely essential. So that then um, caused the university to say you had to have a special permission to continue to conduct any essential research. There are a few research projects that um, if you stop them would have to be restarted and would cost you know $100,000 just in startup to get the animals because some of them are triple transgenic animals, the time it takes to expose animals to a different environmental, be it diet or stress. And then some of them are multi-generational as well. And so those are considered essential. So we're allowed to finish them, but we're not allowed to start any new experiments. What is our new normal going to look like? So I think one of the biggest impacts that COVID-19 is going to have is that there's a lot of developing countries, research programs that run on a very slim margin in terms of their budgets. And uh, I think things like this really have a lasting impact of making it really difficult for those countries and programs to continue. One of the greatest difficulties in this quarantine, social isolation, work from home time period is that young people often don't have all of the skills necessary to keep themselves focused. Certainly, it's very difficult to be productive because they're, they're, a lot of what they do is bench research and now they're stuck at home where you can't do that. Many of these grad students and postdocs live alone. Um, you can see, I found after the first week or two, spirits really started to drop. I took a couple of pictures during our lab meeting, and you can see everybody's faces over the course of a couple of weeks, and the smiles kind of just started disappearing. And so I started to get really worried about their spirits. And so we've started doing joint lab happy hours. So my husband's also a scientist. And so we just come up with a theme. So we did... Um, Last week we did a happy hour theme of, you had to have a cocktail and a hat that matched. So it's great. So you have all these people on the screen and you can see spouses walking by, children, pets. So it also you know, builds kind of that, that cohesiveness of we're all in this together, right? It's, it's not a perfect world. You can't, you can't do this without there being people in the background and kids crawling on people's laps and you know, it's all good.